All right, what's going on, everybody? What is going what on? What up? What up? All of our Hope stuff's everybody's on, doing right? good. We didn't really look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We just we went with be it. Good. They'll like, yell yeah. at us. They'll, they'll, yell. Let, they'll, they'll, they'll yell. They'll yell. They'll yell at us. Hi. I don't know if you guys have seen the addition to Lou's office. Let me get out of the way. Oh yeah, we're flossing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Pepsi. Pepsi provided yeah, it. Pepsi so provided us we got another, a floss another cooler. Because you know <laughs> why not? Uh, we just sold out. You know, I mean, we Pepsi out. is better though. Let's we had to sell. Let's out. be honest about this one. Oh, what's going on, Austin? Oh, Bridger, what up? Oh, we. I tell you what, you guys. First of all. Before we even get in to the sponsors or any of that other stuff, the amount of you that reached out to us after our show last week, which uh, also funny that that dude walked into my room middle of our stream. That was funny. Oh, um, God. You can't make this stuff up. Like, you can't. But if it didn't amount, happen live. Yeah. The amount of people that reached out to us, and we didn't do that to compel you guys to make orders. That wasn't the goal of that show. The goal of that show, because we've said from the beginning that we're going to tell you what it's like to run a comic book shop in here, was to tell you the bad that goes with the good. But so many of you reached out to us and commented and just encouraged us. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now that the mushy shit's over with, let's do the sponsors and whatever else we got. All right, let's knock out the sponsors real quick. Oh, hey, what's your name? <laughs> he knows, he knows, he knows, that's my guy. All right, let's knock out the sponsors real quick. Oh, it's this button right here. Our sponsors, the Awakening Espresso, located right here next to the shop. Go get the best drink in town, then hang with us at the shop. EGS Comics Grading Services, we can get them hot custom labels. Michael Ray Photography, our preferred choice for boudoir, cosplay, couples, all your photo needs. And unleash your inner savage at Frosted Axe Throwing, the only place in town where you don't catch a felony charge with locations in Anchorage and Eagle River. Rep the best shop ever with our swag shop. Go to our website, click swag shop, order the coolest gear, and rep us all over town. And support content like this on our Patreon. Hook it up. Homelight, do you have a house you need to sell? Maybe a secret lair? Contact Homelight today for all your home selling needs. They got them agents at the ready, so check them out. And of course, Dave Eller Financial Services with Edward Jones. Because unless your name is Tony Stark, you're going to need Dave Eller, so check him today. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, because yo, we're, we're hilarious. Hysterical. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to look awesome in a pair of Aegis leggings? Well, make sure when you order, you order a size larger than you normal wear so you don't look like a busted can of biscuits. You never know what someone will look like in one of these pairs of leggings. Uh, his face kills me. But before, because I was watching y'all's chat, which I love everyone in the chat, we're going to get to all of you here in a second. What I wanted to say is everyone that is at New York Comic Con, first of all, I'm jealous that I'm not there with you, but second, look them up and go find, go find artist allies. Ben Harvey's there, Sean Anderson's there, our boy Roberto is there. Go find our people that were came up for our con. Go find them at New York Comic Con. I'm, I'm not asking you to go buy their stuff, but you're going to want to because it's that awesome. But just go tell them that Alaska sent you and go find them because they're awesome the end all right so um as we as we keep moving the shop forward one of the things we're we're doing is we're moving away from diamond yes there's that penguin debacle right now with the way uh uh they've been shipping books apparently they issued an apology to the shops that were affected i can say yeah, without a that. doubt that yeah diamond never apologizes I, uh, I, I can i can say without a doubt that we have not been victim of that yet but I still have some more orders to make with uh, Penguin, so mm -hmm. uh, the jury's still out, but at least they were receptive of the feedback. And exactly. That's yeah. the big difference there. They're receptive of the feedback. They and haven't sent us books we didn't order. Yeah, they haven't done any of that stuff. They haven't done none of that. Yeah. Um, I might be a little salty today, so I'm yeah. just going to like apologize right now. But uh, 
the back issue, our back issue section is alive and well, super strong. We have been going all out on our super back sane, issue section. Super sane, as you would say. Yeah, super yeah. Super sane 100%. on the back issues. Um, and for those of you that are Alaskans, remember, Monday is when the first round of direct deposits for PFDs hit. Were mm -hmm. we started? We we did you we did a little taste. We did a little taste the last couple of days of what the PFD sales are going to be. But yo, next week. Yeah, we've got. Next uh, week, y'all are going to think that sales. I am sick or that something's wrong because we are going to be doing some amazing sales. Yeah, so uh, we're letting Kevin and Liv just run with it, and we'll go from there. The uh, on base, the the big success. Uh, obviously, we we did sell some comics on base, but uh, the big seller. Uh, we sold out on that Pokemon celebration. That was like a major who thing. Who else feels incredibly yeah. old that Pokemon's 25th anniversary was yesterday? Yeah. The who raises, raise your hand if you feel victimized by the fact that they're 25 years old. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that literally, literally, uh, uh, it sold out uh, yesterday. It that was insane. Posted yesterday. It sold out yesterday. The kids that yeah. showed up that were so excited was my yeah. favorite part. Yeah. We had, you know, okay, so I'm just going to say one story with that whole entire thing. Because there was some people, you know, there's people in this bet game with cards and all that other stuff. There's this one kid, he's maybe 10. He showed up, and the, he had 20 bucks in his hand. And he was so excited to come get one of these boxes. Well, the, everyone knows how well, these boxes are not 20 bucks, but it was for that one kid. And that mm. is why I do my shop, is for the look on his face. He lit up like the 4th of July when we said, you know what, that box right there happens to be 20 bucks today. And that was our good karma for the day yesterday, was selling that kid a box for 20 bucks. And I'll do that. I'm not gonna do it all the time. Avi, gotta make my bills, my rent. But doing that yesterday was amazing. Well, uh, the, the, the kid, would, you could tell that the kid, that was his allowance yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like he had saved up. Yeah. Like it was so cute. Uh, uh, the other thing is we have one or two, uh, pull boxes where I know for a fact that the individuals are going through some super hard times right now. So uh, for those of you that have been supporting the Patreon, that's where Patreon is going uh, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be emptying the uh, Patreon account to pay for these guys' uh, mm -hmm. pull boxes. They're good people. They're they're really going through some hard times right now. Yeah. We're going to be shipping the books to them. They're local. But they're going through a real hard time right now, so we're going to be paying. They're veterans, too. So, yeah. Uh, yeah so they, thank you. This is a hard time for veterans right now, especially what's go going on in the world. So we're going to hook them up, and that'll be that. Uh, we also had a uh, customer that lost a, a, a dear family member, so we're going to try to do what we can for them as well. So yeah. that's what we're doing. Uh, and th let me show you real quick. Uh, uh, so... We are still doing some new books. We're doing them through Lunar, as an example, yeah. until we get the Penguin thing uh, wrapped up. And uh, so let's take a look at what the trailers are Jesus this week. Comment. Oh, your Patreon only gets us risky. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's DC trailers real quick. Uh, uh, Coco, some new stuff that's girl, coming out. What's up? Hey, what's up, girl? All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's starting. I've got two days to kill before I meet this guy Slade. He's got to show me how to control this changing into animals thing. My demon father is trapped in my necklace. I'm in Nashville to find out how to get rid of him. That's where I met her. I, I think I'm in love. He's kind of cute, minus the hat. We checked out the sights and got to know each other. Got to know each other. Got to know he each saved other. me when I was attacked. I, I can't tell her about my powers. She'll think I'm a freak. How do I tell him I'm half demon? I guess we'll figure it out together. Willow Zimmerman, born and raised here in Gotham. To help my mom with her medical bills, I've been organizing these poker nights for a family friend. And this is Leibowitz. She's my best friend. After an attack, I developed super hearing and smell. And now I can talk to dogs. I guess I'm kind of a superhero. Time to see if I can use these powers to save my neighborhood. Just a girl and her dog, Whistle and the Hound. Okay.
all right. Hmm. 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 Are you all right. Even, uh, oh. oh. So now uh, we're doing something else. Yeah, let's take a look at this here real quick. So this is what's uh, FOC. But we're not going to go over FOC because that's what Spine Ticks does. Spine. We're just going over what's coming out this week, what you will see at the shop. Uh, we've got the new uh, Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries, the Batman 89, number three. Uh, oh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I don't know if we ordered that or not, unless somebody specifically ordered that. We should have ordered cover. that. Yeah, the hardcover. Then we've got, uh, hmm, oh boy, Batman the Audio Adventure Special. Oh. Do you know, speaking of Batman, I was at Target today when I was looking for the tablecloths for you. They have Batman and the Batman Who Laughs eyeshadow palettes. Really? So like a pal it's got like a lot of different eyeshadow colors. And I was like... Mm. Hmm. I was like, That's Damn, sad. DC's dipping into all kinds they of crazy on, stuff. They went, they went to eyeshadow palettes. Hmm. It's not oh. my forte. Obviously, I wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> no. Let me see. We've got uh wow, there's a lot more Batman titles. God. I mean, All right. It, 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 well, Batman Batman is uh DC Spider Man. You know, Spider Man got like fifty titles. Uh that's true. That's All true. Right. That's, you know, uh, the one Batman one. Uh, Urban Legends has been pretty good though. And is the oh Don't Batwoman. You like the Super Sons? Super Sons I like. Yes. Challenge of the Super Sons I've always liked. And then uh the blue and gold, the uh, blue beetle and uh, um, All I can booster think of gold. Is the, the the little tub trouble bandits imagination. <laughs> Deathstroke. Uh, uh, oh, Deathstroke omnibus is available now. Oh. Uh, for those of you that uh, want that book, we can order that for you. That seems like that'd oh, that be an actual good. Future state is a cool one. Yeah, 150 bucks, but it's Whoa. the entire. Oh, it's an no, it's omnibus. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and there's then, people that, that like to invest in those for sure. And then these comic tag bundles. These are these uh, digital ones that, where you get the PDF, I believe. And then... I don't know. You know, Future people are Gotham. totally into that, which is super cool. But I, I like to have something in hand. I don't... Uh, I'm not an online person. Let me see. Uh, I'm not an online person as I'm on a YouTube show. Let's see. Uh, hardware, the uh, hardware number two. Boy, that took a little bit for number two to come out, but okay. Uh, hardware is basically their Iron Man. Oh. Um, oh, the new Harley Quinn is out. Man, look, I'm not hating on this book, but here's the problem. Uh, I had a lot of people, a lot of kids showing up to the booth at base thinking that this was going to be a kid's book because it's kid's art. Yep. But it is... This is for the HBO show. This is not a kid's book. And for those of us who still are learning comics, you need to be, you need to have like a, like a, like a text message of this is not a kid book. Yeah. Well, of course, the, the last cover was those two making out. So you kind of figured out that they weren't. Yeah, know. but the, the art style is for the oh, younger. Oh, it's totally. But yeah. I mean, first of all, that's unrealistic to have never mind we're not going to talk about the unrealistic body standards that's happening with that piece of clothing okay and then yeah we got the i am batman which is really good uh oh boy the uh, uh joker joker's been mm. doing extremely well mm. uh, and there's uh, a bane's daughter there chin. well that's well that's bane's daughter there well, no, no no not that one but i mean his chin is very commanding oh it's joker that's how he could take a hit. And then we've got uh, uh, Just League Last Ride. I don't know how many of you guys have been reading that book or not, we, but we are getting it. But I I don't know. Uh, oh, another punchline cover. All right. And then? And then now uh, Pennyworth, the Alfred uh, Pennyworth storyline. That's really good on number three. Boy, there's been a delay on all those, haven't they? Because I, God. You're not asking the right person. And then uh, second coming only, Begotten Son. Let me see. Strange Adventures. I, uh, I relate to Stabity. That is the word oh, that I relate Oh, Stabity Rabbit. I'm that that? about Stabity with people. Yeah, Stabity Rabbit. Okay. And okay. then we've got uh, 
So Strange Adventures finally coming to an end. Superman The Authority. The last issue of Superman The Authority. Then this uh, Titans United, uh, number two. I feel like we just got number one, but number yeah, two is out. Yeah, that cover beats pretty badass. Yeah, with Raven. Yeah. Now, this is supposed to be uh, related. To, well, they're definitely promoting the HBO show oh. on all the cover. Uh, well, at least number one. It was like, hey, check them out on HBO. So I don't know if linked or not. Mm. And then this is the uh, George Perez uh, 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 Wonder Woman collection here. Oh. Young Diana. I think that's the last one uh, that's coming out this week as well. Uh I can tell you that Wonder Woman, I think the stories are great. I think the artwork, their variants are some of the best, hands down, that DC puts out. That book does not sell in the shop. No. I've have... got an entire wall full of Wonder Woman books right no, now. They're not Woman? Let selling. Let us know. We have a sale going on right now, like for realties. Yeah. I, uh, we have... They're truly beautiful books. We can't fit... We can't fit the Wonder Woman on our racks yeah. because they don't sell. How people? Why are people hating? Yeah, they do anyway. not sell. They don't sell the Wonder Woman title has not been selling uh, well at all at the shop, uh, and yet it's actually been a decent storyline. Yeah. But uh, uh, anyway. Anyway, all right. So what else right. do we got to show? So then, as we're moving forward. We've talked about back issues, everything else. But some of you guys want to know. Uh, 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 in I hid in there in the show description that uh, Bigfoot. So uh, now that we're also jumping into this uh, uh, real estate, this real estate venture, we want to tell people about the interesting things that they can see on their way to the valley. So we don't have enough going on. So so here here's a. Uh, uh, what you might see mm -hmm. coming into the valley. Alaska has everything. Yeah, here you go. Do I have to zoom in or will I be okay? You should be okay. Because he used to be on the island right there. He used to be on that point right there, but they moved him. Where is he? He's in the next... Uh, keep going and then when I when I catch it I catch it there he is <laughs> that's funny I don't know. Obviously, Bigfoot's real. Ob obvi. He's real. So um, what's the real history behind that thing? You, you're born and raised out here. So that's newer in the last couple of years. This, these people have decided Bigfoot needed to be shown to the world. It used to be out on that little island point, which was mm. really fun. And then they moved it over there. But the, I think these are the same people. Do you remember? Was it last year or the year before? Remember everyone kept saying there was a zebra out on the flats? Yeah. They're, I think they're the same people that put oh, out the zebra. Oh, damn. So, you know, you never know. Um, but, yes, Winterfell is nice this time of year, Sith, because as you guys saw my reel, it snowed in September. Yeah. I'm not ready for this. I'm mm -mm. not ready for this. Mother Nature needs a bottle of wine and a chocolate bar and a puppy and to figure her shit out because it's not ready for that. <sighs> I digress. That was my Roger rant. So we, uh, um, uh, the special's going on this week. We 
are definitely starting to move away from Diamond. We have no choice. Uh, if we stick with Diamond, they're going to bankrupt us. So yeah. we're moving on from there. We, we're still going to have new books. I appreciate everyone's just... um, patience with us as we're not mm-hmm. able to get all the titles immediately that you guys are wanting. It. I, I wish I had all the money in the world where I could just tell Diamond to go, you know, what I'm thinking, but I won't say it. Um, and just figure all that out. But we are just to a spot where we have to focus on the distributors that treat us right. And that would be Penguin and Lunar. So that's where we're at. And I appreciate everyone's patience as we move forward. We'll do the best that we can with what we got, but they, they lit diamond literally makes it impossible for smaller shops with the way we've been treated and the, the different things that keep happening. It would be one thing if it was like once here or there, I'm forgiving. But, you know, fool me 18,000 times, and then I got to just be like, yo, what's up? Yeah, I think we, uh, uh, I mean, we might entertain doing something with one of the bigger shops and just maybe yeah. piggybacking off Order of them. Order off of them or something. Cause because I just, uh, yeah. uh, 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 we can't be messing with, with Diamond directly anymore. Diamond's just horrible. I don't want to mess with them anymore. They, they uh, uh it's just disappointment after disappointment. We can't do it anymore. Yeah. And their, their lack of care and concern for a smaller shop is really, really devastating because, yeah, the big shops out there are great and everything, but it's the little shops that are going to fill in all your gaps that the big shops don't. So, right. yeah. And true, Lon, absolutely true. At least we have a choice now. And that's the reason why we're starting to go mm-hmm. over to Penguin because we do have a choice, which is awesome. Lunar was a very obviously an easy choice because they were the only ones doing DC. But Lunar has made it... Lunar just keeps setting that bar up because mm-hmm. they keep doing just such a great job with their shipping and with our orders and with everything. Um, the so biggest issue is going to be publishers like Boom and Image that have exclusives and mm-hmm. they've signed exclusives with uh, yeah. Diamond, which I think was... I understood why it all happened, but yeah. it, it all favored Diamond and... Uh, I think Boom, I think their uh, their president should have been way... Uh, he should have put way more thought into locking himself into a contract like that. Yeah. I don't know how long that contract is, but uh, they should strongly consider heading over to Lunar as soon as possible. Lunar's just going to treat them better. And I know, and like we said, and we talked about, you know, we know Penguin got some shade because these books that got sh- shipped out were not in prestige condition, but no, 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 no. We're not gonna say that. Let, let, let's not. Let's not candy coat it. Those books were destroyed. Those books were destroyed. But what I appreciate is that they welcomed the feedback, and yeah. there were several people that put out videos showing the issues. And instead of not acting like they didn't happen, they went, "Whoa, our bad. Yeah. We gotta fix this." Yeah, we're not gonna apologize yeah. for Penguin. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not apologizing for them. But yeah. I am saying that there's, you know, just like with any new thing, we've gotta give them. A little bit of a buffer to fix the issue. I will say that I called it because uh, Penguin does have a history of shipping, but, but Penguin is used to shipping uh, graphic novels oh, and hardcover books right, that are right, more right. forgiving during the shipping yeah. process. Those books are a little st- sturdier, right? Yeah, exactly. Nobody, nobody is sending a Fabio cover love novel to get graded. I mean, it's not happening. It's but not I happening. Say no. Right, but it, nobody, nobody's sending one hair. of. Yeah, nobody's taking a, a Fabio cover and sending it to CGC. Mm-hmm. All right. Now that I said it, some of you guys are gonna do it. Someone's gonna hey, find it. Hey, go for it. Someone but uh, find it. Oh my god, that'd be so but, good. But I'll put it next you know, to my DC. That's not what the. So nobody cares if their if their if their graphic novel comes with a dick on the yeah on the spine or yeah. something. But yeah, that so. Uh, I will say that their um, their version, they have a uh, their own version of a Gemini uh, mailer, and that thing's far superior to a Gemini. So uh, at least that was when we held mm-hmm. it and opened up the book. The book came in excellent condition. So uh, yeah. So I mean, is Luna still the number one? in the industry for distribution of comic books in, in terms right. of quality, 100%. Lunar is the they industry the lead. They're, they sh- and they should be the standard. Because but, it's second to none. Yeah, because I heard a couple of people jump on the Diamond bandwagon. They're like, oh, well, you know, Penguin should at least ship like Diamond. No, nobody should ship like Diamond. Stop saying that. 
-hmm. If you're saying that, you have no idea what you're talking about. And you shouldn't say anything. Well, you shouldn't say anything. Yeah, that's the only time you're going to you're going to see where I'm not I, I'm not even thinking that's funny. You, 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 Diamond is not the standard of shipping anything. No. No. Uh, they've 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 been doing this since the late 80s and they still haven't got it right they've gotten yeah. worse uh penguin i think we'll learn from lunar well sure. and that's and that's the the point of it is when you've had 30 years almost to yeah. correct and to to master the art and you still can't i mean mm -hmm. I, I i got nothing for you like i tried really hard to like be in your corner i wanted to i wanted to do all that so like i said i appreciate everyone's patience as we do make our switch over to penguin you know we will try to find a solution for the titles that we're unable to get through diamond but at this point i just can't stomach ordering from them anymore because of not only the quality and or i should say the lack of quality but the lack of compare and cash compassion or you know, just their willingness to work with smaller shops is just sad. Mm -hmm. I miss the first lady, our first lady that we, our first rep at Diamond, where we sent the puppy pictures to. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was great. She's probably not even with the company anymore. Yeah. Rebecca, I think, or something like that. But we've run into a bunch of Rebeccas. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, uh, on our Instagram, just a quick shout out to uh, do some positive stuff here. Yeah, positive. Let's change the subject. So this guy here, he is the owner of Now and Ever Comics. He treated us with so oh much, my gosh. just, so nice. he made us feel like we were part of his shop's fam. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he has one of the coolest looking shops. Uh, our back issue bins uh, are kind of, I mean, it was, there was, we definitely started our idea process from that. Yeah, look at his back issue bins there. They're beautiful, man. And him it's and in, his father-in-law made them together, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, it, it was, uh, so his, his, shop, his shop is in uh, Hillcrest. San Diego. And, uh, yeah, uh, for, for those of you guys in California, uh, or the Hillcrest area, if I recall. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, I mean, you look at those back issue bins, so awesome. So you've got... So if you've been in our shop, we do have the pullout uh, 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 for the keep it clean. The um, the pullout um, uh, shelves for all that are essentially the size of a short box. Right. And he has more of the file cabinet style, and it just works out perfect, man. It's mm -hmm. it really sure. Now he also does um, the toys as well. Yes, he had a lot. He had the a lot vintage of those. toys. So he has like a, a He Man and all that stuff. Uh, speaking of which, we got a bunch of those toys. Uh, let me go grab them real quick. Oh, he's going to leave me here by myself? Uh -oh. Yeah, 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 I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we did get toys. Um, I want to have mercy. We have too much in this office is what we have going on here. Um, let's see if I'll hit that. That way we're not just staring at the same picture over and over again. Um... Brandon, I know you had a question back there. Uh, to answer your question, we don't know yet. We're still working on that. We're working on a solution for, which um, one? for which our one? independent titles. Brandon wanted to know if we were going to get them, and it's just we don't have a solution yet, but we are working on it. Yeah, um, we're hustling on that as fast as we can. And get us let it, let us get through PFD week, and then we're going to try to you know tr you know get our game face on and figure that out. Um, so yeah. That's, yeah, that's the answer there. Yeah, we, exactly. We, See, these would fit. If you cut someone up, you could fit a body in there easily. Mm -hmm. And if you bury a body and then put protected plants and shrubbery on top, then they can't unbury it because it's federal law not to. Follow me for more life tips. So we've got this uh, Cyber Armor Cyclops. These We're are these older these toys that for, came out. We're uh, PFD sales. Yeah, so... This one, uh, yeah, these are all 1990s, 1998 toys here. So we'll have that. Oh, God, I, I really wanted to uh, forget this one. This was horrible. Their cartoon was horrible, but Deep Space Iron Man. Yeah. So you're not wrong. All right, this one's cool. Here's a Daredevil. <laughs> I 
love how you're all my people uh, and you all just like went right into that like it was nothing. Love you mean it. Steel Tech Iron Man. With all his shooting accessories. Ooh, Matt Woods. Good point. Good point. Point well taken. Ah, uh, Logan in his uh, TV show jacket there. I like that one. Yeah. And. Ralph is going to lose his mind on this one. This one here we've got from the Spawn series. You guys remember this guy? Deslocator. Deslocator. That one's actually really cool. So we got these bad boys. They will all be available this week on sale. Yeah, uh, with PFD the uh, sale. PFD PFD specials on them. So for those of you, because like I said, we we try to like tell you about the stuff going on in Alaska, and we keep talking about a PFD sale, and everyone's probably like, "What the heck?" So every year in Alaska, Alaskans that qualify get what's called the permanent fund dividend, and it is the royalties made that were originally started off the oil fields that are up here, but now there's a lot of different investment, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, there's a gigantic bank and they split up a certain amount of it every year and we all get a check. It's based off of the last five years performance of this fund, mm -hmm. uh, based That's off of uh, fuel sales and whatnot. So when you guys uh, buy those uh, Teslas, you, you make us angry up here. Yeah. So I work in the oil field. That's where I fly to, <laughs> just, just saying. Buy, but, uh, buy uh, your kayak and tell me how you're going to be so one with nature with your petroleum kayak. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, so. Um, so this year, everyone's getting 1100 bucks. Yeah, so, so and that's everyone short. in the household. So Every every person. That if, qualifies. Whether they're, I think you have to be one years old, right? Well, you have to be born in 2020 to qualify for this one. Oh, yeah, so you could be. Yeah, so so you if could you were, as long as you were born December. Th yeah, yeah, a newborn. December 31st. Boom. Yeah. Anthony, word. Yep. Go get your yes. kids. Yeah, I mean, I get that it's kind of many right now, but go get it anyway. Yes. Um, and then, uh, um, so yeah, yeah so, that's so that's our PFD that sale. So that's for those of you that are out of state, out of country, that's, that's what the PFDs are. Um, so we try to run a big sale every year during PFD time because it's one of those, you know, incentives for people that have got it and for us, you know, to. All right. You know, so like if you're that. one of those families that has like 10 kids, <clears throat> that's 10 times eleven $1 hundred dollars mm -hmm. they cut your check they deposit it uh if you get your, direct deposit you, you get, get it direct, on monday it, yeah you get it on monday or they'll mail you a so, check yeah. which takes a couple weeks longer mm -hmm. i'm all about that direct deposit life hey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was supposed to spend mine in las vegas but i'm not now so yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonna hang out with you guys all week yay exactly <laughs> You I was that going for my girlfriend's 50th birthday, but we had to postpone the trip because, you know, COVID. Thanks, COVID. What was the hashtag you, you sent me yesterday? Uh, well, we're COVID not going to say that. COVID is a C next Tuesday. Yeah, I, yeah, PG-13 yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, that mm -hmm. is, in a nutshell, what's going on with the shop. we got a big week coming up with PFDs. We're going to have a lot of fun stuff. Uh, we're still making our transition over to penguins so just bear with us um, yep. we're still getting our lunar book so you know those are always going to be available to you appreciate everyone that has been contacting us making orders a lot of you mm -hmm. from out of state that just hit us up and was like hey do you happen to have this i'll just get it from you guys right um just so you know right now our walls um we, we have a 35 percent sale going on right, right now for right. those if you guys are looking for something let us know we mm -hmm. might have it on our wall so um you know, yeah, my, my plan my plan right now is to settle up all debts with Diamond, get what is already ordered, cancel all future orders with Diamond, with very few exceptions. Yeah. So that's what's slowing things down too, is that if we reactivate, we have our Diamond account frozen. We did that on purpose because Diamond will continue to keep bankrupting us. us. We so we, we have to we Sending have us to more of what we didn't yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. So we had to stop it. So yeah, we had to that's just, where we're at right now and we're we waiting a on a response from 
their executive team to let us know. Because uh, uh, we did, just so everyone knows, it's not mm -hmm. like we're just talking all this crap and we haven't, like, re we sent a very detailed explanation of all the mm -hmm. different things of which the issues we're running into and we're waiting for a response from them because it's not like mm -hmm. it's not like I'm not trying to pay my bill with you dude but when you're making it impossible for me to pay my bill with you like help me help you yeah, they, 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 it, they'll just keep burying us until they and put they us out care. of business we can't have that happen so, so we're not going to do that we're just so taking just a pause they're going to find themselves we're going to find ourselves mm -hmm. you know if we end up mm -hmm. who knows now um, on the uh, real estate side we are going to be starting a uh, some videos mm -hmm. that will be focused on it, we're going to call it comics comics and houses or comics and real estate something yeah, like something, that we'll real estate and something. comics or something but it, it, it'll be intermingled it, it won't be on our saturday shows it'll just be stuff that we pump during the week uh it'll also be included in our uh, really good idea for a series that we can do with that yeah really good idea uh, for those of you that want to see us in person tomorrow, we will be uh, hosting our first uh, open house in Eagle River. And that is, uh, if you go to our, now this one's slightly different. It's called Ages of Alaska. It is our, this is where we conduct all our real estate stuff. But this is the open house for uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Two and to four. We're from gonna two have to four. All sorts of stuff. Beautiful home, you guys. Yeah, so it's a four bedroom, Alaska. three bathroom, 2,208 uh, square foot house. Okay. Yeah, so you guys are going to have to come down. Yeah. Oh, I, I like that. I like that. It, Comic and cribs, though. Yo, <gasps> damn. Ooh. Oh. CNC. Comics and cribs. Yeah. And you know, uncanny swag. Yo. yo. Between him and something. Sith, yeah. I don't know. Now, now I'm. Whoa. Uh, this one's uh, $399. Yeah, 399 $399. It's a, uh, like I said, it's a, uh, a... It's a big house. It's a 2,200 square foot house. And they, I don't have all the pictures on here. Obviously, it's on the MLS okay. listing. If you show up, the MLS listing is right there. The number's there so that you can look it up yourself. But this house is a banger, man. Yeah. Nick, Beautiful, I really all like updated. Your, uh, your, your work on something is killing the children. I like that. I like Ooh. that. Someone is selling the house. Ooh, I like that, yeah, Nick. Yeah, that's good. Okay. We're going to have to come up with some fun. Um, we're going to... Any uh, houses by the lake. I'll tell you what. Oh, my God. These guys, guys are guys killing it. If you guys want something, you just let us know. No, okay. these guys are killing it with the titles. I know, though. right? Like, wow. We okay. We should have known to just come to the community and just be like, yo. All right, we're saving all of these. Yeah. God. Like, I'm the one that came up with um, That's right. SNL. Atlantis always so, pays his debts. That's right. Yeah. What? <laughs> Last time. Last time. Oh my god. You guys are killing it, this man. This is freaking awesome. All right, all right. This is so. We live in houses. We live in how. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are the best. Seriously. Yeah, you guys are the best. Uh, all right. So, again, open house tomorrow from 2 to 4. Anyone that is looking for a house or know anyone that's looking or in the market for buying or selling, mm -hmm. please let us know. And by us, I mean him because this is his deal as well. Um, yeah. I'm like, now I'm just like watching the comments because. No, you guys, you guys are killing it, it's man. It's awesome. Um, house of Seekers is fit. Well, I mean, that's going to be the one where like you get like the really like straight laced mom who's like the Sunday school teacher. She's like, what secrets are in this house? No, we can't. We can't be here. And then I'll be like, did you know you could put a body Oh, I in like here? that. Who has the lock and key? Okay. Yo, you guys are killing it, man. Yeah. Yo, my broker Yo, my broker would be punching up? walls, though. She's like, this comic stuff and the uh, real estate has to be separate. I'm like, no. I don't no, think so. we're going to make it a thing. I think we can make this work. We're going to, like, use that Batman suit. And I mean, I don't disrespect because she, she's... What's really good is that I'm part of a brokerage that's like, like, hella, yeah, hella successful. So I have to, I have and to. And the broker is a super cool lady yeah. who's like everyone's favorite aunt. Like Ooh. she's awesome. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I know. You guys are freaking awesome. Guys, we love you. Make sure that you check out uh, Spine, Spine Ticks. Ticks. Is next. Apparently, there's a new clip of me uh, from Spine Ticks 1000. Don't show. spoil it. I'm not. I'm just saying. There's a new. There's a new clip. 
from Clip Lordly. And then uh, make sure that you're checking out our friends. Three Men in the Basement. Uh, uh, Three Men in the Basement. Lords of the Long Box. Reggie Collects. Uh, Matt Woods has a great Comps channel. He puts out some really wonderful stuff. Um, Hood Rat and uh, their people. Ooh, I like that. Uh, all of a sudden, I can't remember the name. Nemesis Prime. He's got a podcast that is absolutely fantastic. Please look that up. Nemesis Prime has the Comic Con podcast. That's right. You guys should be subscribing to that. Mm, it's really you guys good. need to be subscribing to. Uh, it's all listed in our description, but you should Team be checking Nerd out. Herd. That was it. Team Nerd Herd. You should be Fine checking too. out uh, uh, tomorrow on Sunday. If you're not coming to the open house then you should be checking out uh, you promised, uh, you me, promised comics. me comics with for their foc he does a two hour show uh which is like a baby spine tick show that's like that's like a Yo, uh, last Saturday, that's like a beer that's hours? like a drink break uh, on yeah. spy tick but that he does a two hour show that covers the entire industry yeah. foc and then yeah. there's pressable defects uh, we got to remember our boys. Oh, Defects, pressable defects, they, man! Just as crazy as me, which I appreciate. Well, you got to love them because of the uh, uh, the spec the spec news that they're always because it's a they, have they, some they do some detective work on yeah. some of those, which I appreciate. And yeah, then you've got sure. uh, God, there's so many new shows. And then of course you've got uh, uh, um, uh, Breakout Daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got some really great stuff on there, and he's a yeah. local guy, so go check him out. Um, go go use the potty. Go refresh your drinks. Mm -hmm. Get ready for spine ticks because you know it's going to be fun. Uh, we'll, we're going to go home and then make sure that we're available for those guys uh, and hang out with them for a while. Um, and appreciate you guys just hanging in with us as we, we make this big transition as we do what we have to do to survive mm -hmm. with our shop. Um, you know, I, I really wish I could look at everyone and be like, oh, it's just so easy. Everyone should do it. That's no, no. I, uh. Now, if you got, if there's anyone in the comments that, uh, any one of our followers that uh, is interested in opening up a comic book shop, we'll, we're always available to answer questions, man. And we will give there's you the always, good I that. would rather, I would rather have another comic book shop mm -hmm. open up because I think that it's critical that the hobby continue to grow, that it be available to as many people as possible. So we're, we're cheerleaders. If you're, if you're going to open up a shop, We'll be more than happy to tell you the good and the bad. And quite honestly, it. there is more good. And I think that primarily we do share a lot more good, but it's been mm -hmm. very important. The good for is us. the customers. Oh, the, the good. Best. The, the good is the, the customers, and it's best. not. Yeah, it, it, I mean, even when we're looking at uh, uh, at our numbers, and we're like, "Ooh, well, that sucks." Somehow, the customers still find a way of putting a smile on your face because they're not customers anymore they're also part of this family and friends this family and friends that like we there's have there's very so, yeah. few people that walk in that door anymore that i'm just mm -hmm. like oh my gosh hey yeah so appreciate it's you guys cheers. it is it's totally cheers um appreciate you guys a lot thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight i know you know time is valuable and you mm -hmm. elected to come hang out with us we appreciate you um, you know, we'll have a giveaway next Saturday too. We'll do something. Yeah, we might have a lot of giveaways next Saturday if. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens. We might have a mm -hmm. lot of giveaways, which I'm not going to spoil it because I want to leave responsibility where responsibility needs to be laid. But we might have a lot of giveaways next Saturday. So we will see you. Exactly, next time. Nicholas. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. And go have fun. We love you guys a lot. Love you.